Hi Sagittarius, this is your October monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of October. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in October. We have the Seven of Swords, clarified by the Hermit. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Lovers. We have the Wheel of Fortune. In the potential outcome, we have the Empress with the Sun and the Four of Wands. And we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini or a Leo. Uh, we also have Taurus and Libra on the table. This is one heck of a reading, Sagittarius. The ending, the potential outcome is amazing. It really is. And with cards like that, I don't think it's really a potential. I do see the two of you taking it to the next level with this person. However, we start off in a shady situation. And it, it could be shady just for, for some of you. Here's the deal. We start off with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is not, uh, you know, the best card in the... In the uh, in a tarot deck, to be honest with you. However, the Empress and the, the Sun in the potential outcome and the Lovers are considered, and the Two of Cups are considered some of the best cards in a tarot deck. So there's this huge, you know, polarity, I guess. So anyway, the Seven of Swords, it could be a card of a cheater, a card of a deception, a card of somebody who runs away. Or the Seven of Swords, it could be a card of somebody who is dishonest about their own feelings. And it could be them dishonest, being dishonest to themselves, denying their feelings towards you. Or it could be them dishonest to you. <laughs> right? So anyway, uh, since the rest of the spread is amazing... Um, I think it's all going to work out between the two of you. So for some of you, they could be running away from somebody so they could be with you or the other way around. You could be running away from somebody so you could be together with this person and I'm not judging you, right? This is not a singles reading. I keep repeating that. This is a new love reading. You could be single. You don't have to be single or they don't have to be single or they could be single right the, the hermit clarifying the seven of swords could be a virgo you're dealing with but perhaps with the hermit card they needed to think about it they needed to go within do some soul searching go through some kind of a thought process and uh, if they were denying their feelings towards you or will be denying their feelings towards you in october when they come out on the other side they will they will change their mind right they will decide that you know what why deny what we actually have? Why deny what we actually feel towards one another? Because I do believe this is mutual. Well, we'll talk about that in just a second. Or for others of you, they're going to think about uh, their existing relationship and they will decide to run away so they could be with you. Again, I'm not judging anybody here. Right, so here comes the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Lovers. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication and it's a card of travel. So they're going to be letting you know, they're going to be communicating with you, they're going to be reaching out to you or literally coming to you. Okay, the Eight of Wands is also a card of a Cupid's Arrow. So they can deny it all they want, <laughs> but Cupid's Arrows are lethal in terms of people uh, just fall, fall in love, right? <laughs> <laughs> the lovers clarifying the eight of wands is a card of a choice, right? So they're choosing to uh, come towards you or you are choosing to come towards them and be with them. Uh, the lovers is also a card of a Gemini. And uh, in my opinion, the lovers is actually the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life. Right? It's an amazing card. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the Lover's card when it comes to the actual love connection is the Two of Cups. And look what we have on the bottom of the deck. That is that Two of Cups sitting right there, being pretty, looking at us. There's two people in both the Two of Cups and the Lover's. So, again, they can deny it all they want, or you can deny it all you, all you want, but uh, the two of you are pretty much meant to be together. Right? Uh, yeah. If you believe in Twin Flames, this person is your Twin Flame. Alright, so here you guys go. The Wheel of Fortune in the middle. Starting this cycle. 
right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is uh, a major arcana card. The Wheel of Fortune is uh, always good news in my spreads. And the word fortune is there for a reason. It's a very fortunate cycle. And look at all those beautiful cards we have in the potential outcome. The Empress, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. The Empress could be a Libra or a Taurus. The Sun could be a Leo. But if you want to stay general, I think the Empress, that's you. That is definitely you, Sagittarius. You know, the Empress is a future wife or a future significant other figure. It's also a mother figure. So if having children is still an option for you, um, or having more children is an option for you, the two of you can definitely have children together, or more children together. Besides that, the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The, the Empress is abundance in its purest form. The Sun is not only a Leo card, it's a card of clarity, so you'll be crystal clear that the two of you belong together. And the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, I really like how we have uh, the most positive, one of the most positive cards in the deck sitting right next to the happiest card in the deck. You know, that's just awesome. Yeah, the Sun always talks about joy, success, happiness, filling on top of the world, and the four ones right next to the deck is a card of a commitment or marriage. Some people call it the 11-11 card. To me personally, it always reminds me of an actual wedding, but it is a commitment or marriage card. So yeah, this there is a twist to the story in the beginning, and we went over different scenarios. It all depends on uh, what's going on in your life, or will be going on in your life in October, but uh, the outcome is still awesome. It's just awesome. You guys definitely belong together and there is definitely a commitment coming up between the two of you. Really, really happy for you Sagittarius. I'm not going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time. Congratulations! Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, <laughs> I think it's about money. Right, uh, the King of Pentacles, if your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your significant other is an earth sign, it makes total sense. But since we also have so many Pentacles on the table, I think uh, you guys are, you know, dealing with money in a very positive way. And uh, you are embracing the King of Pentacles energy. The King of Pentacles is uh, the King of Money. <laughs> right? Um, the Nine of Cups in the middle is a card of a wish come true, and it's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. The Four of Pentacles, the next card over. This is my uh, savings account card. So you've got money coming in. Or, since it's classified by the Ten of Pentacles, which could also be financial abundance, it could be real estate. So you could be purchasing a new house or a new apartment or an additional house, an additional apartment. Or again, there's just money coming in. And uh, you're really happy and holding on to it with the Four of Pentacles, right? It's putting it into your joint <laughs> savings account, or a CD, or what have you. You may invest or reinvest it. So you could be getting paid from work, um, you could be, you know, getting some dividends if one of you works for a company and, and uh, you know, perhaps you're becoming fully vested into the company uh, or the company you work for or they work for could be going IPO and you've got company shares. You get the idea. There's just some kind of financial abundance, you know, even a downfall. Uh, the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, you know, perhaps you're going to be deciding what you want to do with all that extra cash. Okay, so yeah, I will still do the uh, work business and finances spread separately, but for those of you who are involved with somebody, married to somebody, uh, it's definitely either real estate or money coming in. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, uh, in the month of October. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of uh, months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the 201 classified by the Knight. Of ones. We have the King of Wands, the Eight of Wands, then we have the Star clarifying it, and the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, Aries, the or not a Sagittarius. We also have uh, an Aquarius on the table. For some of you guys, it could be you, Sagittarius, who is getting ready to, uh, you know, <laughs> try to get back together with your ex because uh, you are a fire sign and we've got so much fire on the table, it's almost on fire. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the candle. All right, but uh, since I always interpret my spreads from the uh, perspective of the zodiac sign I uh, do the readings for, I'll assume this is a fire sign coming back, All right? And uh, yeah, you're going to be hearing from this person a lot, a lot, right? 
Um, the star right next to the deck, um, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. Perhaps this person's got Aquarius in their chart, but the, the star is a card of healing. It's a card of a wish come true. You know, it's a wish granted card. So perhaps for them, their biggest wish right now is to get back together with you and heal the situation. Um, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's you. You know, you picked yourself up, you dusted yourself off, uh, you're doing good, you're back in your uh, awesome Sagittarius self, you know, you're in the spotlight, you're popular, you're admired by many. This is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient and independent. You're, you're good. You're good. And I think this person knows they've got their work cut out for them if they want to, you know, to have a chance with you. Because, again, you're doing good. The Nine of Pentacles is often called the uh, uh, Empress of the Minor Arcana cards, right? So they're, all get, they're getting all fired up to pursue you. <laughs> and again, you'll be hearing from them a lot. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, a lot of communication. It's also a card of travel. So they will even come see you, you know, send you flowers, send you gifts, what have you. They're going to be on your case. What you're going to do is going to be up to you, Sagittarius, but do expect a lot of attention from this person. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Sagittarius, this month. We have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the World. We have the Six of Swords and uh, the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. I completely understand this is not going to you know, play out for most of you, I guess. But uh, if you've been thinking about switching jobs, or if you've been thinking about um, quitting your 9 to 5 and starting your own business, perhaps October is going to be... a uh, the perfect month for you, okay? Because this spread is about a Sagittarius who is leaving one job behind and uh, starting a new job or starting their own business. That's what the spread is all about. The only thing I can add is that um, your existing employer may not like it. Perhaps they paid for your education or perhaps you have a couple of projects you're you still are, um, you know, working on, and when you do break the news to them, uh, they're not going to be happy about it. You will, it, it may be a scandal, all right? So, yeah, the Five of Swords, the first card I came out, this is a card of separation. Somebody who says, you know what, I'm done here, and uh, it's a card of somebody who packs their stuff and leaves, right? And uh, it's also a card of a fight, Right, but I think that's you who is uh, deciding to do that because first of all, it's clarified by the three of ones, and I think that's your energy. The three of ones of some is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and once you've made up your mind, that's it. There is no turning back. So you're getting out of there. You may even quit on that same day. You know, you may give them a two-week notice, but for some of you, uh, if you give them a two-week notice, they may say something like, "Oh." Why don't you get out right now, you know? And I'm not trying to scare you. It, it's just the essence of the Five of Swords. You know, this is an ugly separation card, a fight that causes a separation. But in this case, this is you deciding to get out, which may trigger that fight. The world in the middle, you know, this is a card of an ending, but this is my happy end card. So you're, you're done. You're going to be happy um, someplace else for sure, or a happy year. Um, the world could also be a card of someplace remote. Some of you are relocating, some of you are deciding to go travel, you know, and that's why you're quitting this job. Um, the Six of Swords is a card of moving forward, moving on, moving out of choppy waters towards calm water. So again, this job was not good for you. That's what you finally figured out, and that's why you're moving on. The Chariot on the bottom of the deck, again, another uh, travel card or moving forward card and uh, the chariot is a card of victory and success and a triumph right so even though you're getting out of one place you still feel good about it if you decide to start your own business I think it'll be successful because again the chariot is a card of victory and success all right cool here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you Sagittarius for the whole month of October we have the Hierophant uh, we have uh, the High Priestess we have the seven of ones clarified by the ten of cups, and we have the nine of ones on the bottom of the deck. A very specific advice. It's for those of you who are going to be in a relationship, or who are already in a relationship, or who is uh, married. A very specific advice. If you hear somebody spreading lies about you, or your relationship, or marriage, if you hear somebody talking behind your back, 
Uh, if somebody is gossiping about your family or your relationship or marriage, don't just let it slide. You know, don't just think to yourself, oh, it's nothing, it will blow over. No, the advice for you is to uh, confront that person. Don't get into actual fight, but uh, you will have to defend your honor, you will have to defend your family, your relationship, your marriage. That's what it that's what it looks like. So the advice for you is to not just disregard it, but uh, you know, stand your ground, defend your uh, family and marriage. I don't mean to scare you, because you know, people will. There will always be people talking crap behind our backs. Always. Unfortunately, it's just the reality. But in this particular case, don't just let it, uh, you know, slide by you. No, stand your ground. In this particular situation, you'll need to defend your your family. Okay, so here's here's why I think that uh, the Hierophant, the first card that came out, is a card of marriage um, or commitment. The High Priestess, the card in the middle, I think this is a card of something that's happening behind our back, something that you're not aware of, and uh, in October it will come to the surface, right? The Seven of Wands, the next card over, that's you. Right, and uh, the Ten of Cups is also a commitment or marriage card, and uh, the Seven of Wands is a card of somebody who is on defense, but it's an active defense. So you're actively defending your family, your relationship, or your marriage. Right, and uh, the Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wounded warrior. So if you don't defend it, you will end up like a wounded warrior. Something is gonna go bad. Right, it's also a card of somebody who puts up a wall. Uh, between themselves and um, other people. So yes, defend your family, defend your marriage, and put up a wall between yourself and those uh, uh, bad people. Let's just call them that way. All right. Again, I don't mean to scare you. As long as you don't let it slide, as long as you take action and uh, you know put that put those people in their place where they belong, you'll be all right. All right, Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing October.